Hi. This is a field review of the Battle Arms Development Warhorse Rifle, 16 inch. I This one I borrowed from a customer and it's been changed a little. It has a hyperfire trigger in it. Here I'm using his optic, which is an MRO red dot. It also has a Battle Arms Advanced uh, upgraded charging handle. And it has a carbine buffer with a tough flat wire spring. Everything else is the way that it came from the factory. It shot really well. I had problems with the optic a little bit, but the gun performed excellent. I did some accuracy testing with it. I used seven different types of ammo. Uh, one of them, the MagTech M193, I used with and without a suppressor just to get some really good information. I was very surprised about the accuracy, and you'll see that here coming up. Okay, it's windy. I apologize real quick. This is my brass. So these are the 55s and 62s. So that one's a stray one. I'm not really sure where that one is. Let's see, which one is this? It's probably 77. Uh, yeah, that's one of the federal gold medal match. So the federal gold medal match is a little bit different, kicked out different. Uh, there's another gold medal match right there. This is the suppressed brass, okay? So look, this is my gun. That's the brass, okay? That's suppressed. That is perfectly timed. And I will tell you what's in this later. I think I put an H with the tub flower. I think, don't quote me on that. So here's what we have. MagTech M193 was an inch and an eighth. MagTech with the suppressor was three inches. So it opened up quite a bit with the can on there. That's interesting. I may test that a little bit more. <clears throat> it happens. Fiocchi was an inch and an eighth. PMC x -Tac was one and three quarter inches. Federal 62 grain was two and a half. The Aguila was three inches. Uh, Norma, I had a flyer. It could have been me. I don't know. But it's seven inch, it's seven eighth inch group without that flyer. I gotta, I gotta suspect I jerked the shit out of that trigger, cause that's that's way too tight a group for just having that oddball flyer. It's two and a quarter with the flyer, and still not bad. And then the federal gold medal match was one inch. So I gotta tell you, this is kind of what you will normally see with M one ninety three out of an average barrel, but this is the same the same without the can. It's an inch and an eighth. Right? Inch and an eighth of Fiocchi, inch and three quarter. This is below two MOA. This is a little bit over two MOA with 62. This is Aguila 62, which I shoot it because it's usually really not that accurate. I'm still getting three inch groups out of it. This is mil spec, okay? So this is shooting mil spec standard with the shittiest ammo that I can find. This is pretty badass. Don't know where that flyer came from, but that is really good. Same thing with that. This is a minute and a half to two minute gun. Easily, easily. So I'm using it here with a Vortex Strike Eagle 1x8, which is what I used for the accuracy testing too. I was pretty impressed with what I was capable of doing it. I'm just using a VTAC barricade here and practicing different positions. And it's a pretty decent test for a firearm when it comes to accuracy, maneuverability, capability. And I have some stray shots, but um, at 200 yards with a full-size zip stick, you're gonna throw the occasional miss. When I was aiming at not jerking the shit out of the trigger, it was hitting exactly where I wanted it to. Overall, I think that there's a couple of pieces in, in the firearm that I would change personally. I would change the trigger system. I am a horrible trigger snob. I prefer really decent triggers. The hyper fire in this, in this gun made it perfect for competition. It's exactly what I use in my guns for competition. So that's kind of why I was using the, the competition setup and feel to, to test it out. 
It comes with a standard mil spec, char mil spec charging handle, which was changed out by the owner that I borrowed this from. And so I just left it in there and used it. But it really benefited from the tub flat wire spring. Most AR-15s do. This one's no different. But I never put an H in it. It would run with an H buffer in there, and I think it might be a little bit better at that point. But the lack of reciprocating mass or less reciprocating mass did make it easier to shoot faster. Overall, I was really kind of blown away on how accurate this gun was. I mean, it was shooting mil spec ammo sub two minute of angle easily, which is pretty damn impressive. Uh, I For $1,200, I really can't recommend this gun enough. If you're looking for something that's fairly inexpensive to get into, this thing is pretty badass for the price, and it takes very little to make it an exceptional firearm. There we go. Clean run.